This video gives an overview of the Thirty Years' War. The Thirty Years' War started in 1618 with the defenestration of Prague and ended in 1648 with the Peace of Westphalia. Main persons on the Protestant side were Frederick of Palatinate, Christian of Denmark and Gustav Adolf of Sweden. The two main commanders of the Catholic side were Albrecht von Wallenstein and Tilly. Denmark and Sweden claimed to be the hegemonial powers in the north and both wanted to expand their sphere of influence into the Holy Roman Empire. There was an ongoing conflict between France and the House of Habsburg. Within the Holy Roman Empire, the legal situation was not entirely clear regarding the Augsburg settlement, in other words, regarding the religions. So there are denominational conflicts as well as political conflicts, and against the background of these conflicts, military alliances were formed like the Protestant Union and the Catholic League. Furthermore, especially the House of Habsburg intensified the measures of the Counter-Reformation. The two territories important for the first phase of the war were Bohemia and the Palatinate. The Protestant population in Bohemia was oppressed by the king, who was at the same time the emperor. So they choose to throw a few of his representatives out of a window in Prague, the symbolic act, the defenestration of Prague. Then furthermore, the Frederick of Palatinate was elected king, but he could not enjoy his reign for too long, because the imperial forces won, clearly won in both Bohemia and the Palatinate. Bohemia was recatholized by drastic but brutal means, and Bavaria gained upper Palatinate and the electoral dignity. Now, it did not look good for the Protestant side, and now the King of Denmark, alongside northern German allies, advanced to the south. But he was heavily defeated, and imperial forces could occupy Jutland and northern Germany. Weinstein received Mecklenburg, and Protestant rulers had to restitute the estates formerly held by the Catholic Church. With the Peace of Lübeck, Denmark, Denmark left the war for good. During this phase, the principle of the war, the war feeds the war, became apparent. Wallenstein was the first military enterpriser, and with him there were enormous ravages, devastation of the land. Now, the Protestant side seemed to be close to total defeat, but then Gustav II Adolf of Sweden saved the Protestant faith, secured the Protestant faith in the empire. He won also the Battle of Lützen, but unfortunately for the Protestant side, he died during this battle he was killed. So the war went on without any decisions. The only important year to mention is 1634, when Wallenstein was assassinated. The emperor and the uh, territorial rulers realized this war, war will get us nowhere and they made peace and joined forces to defend the realm. They had to defend the empire, then against a Swedish-French alliance. There were campaigns, but no decisive battles. All parties realized now we need to go into negotiations and after five years they agreed on the peace of Westphalia. This peace more or less restored the status quo antebellum with regards to religion, constitution and estates. Sweden and France gained territories and the Netherlands and the Swiss Confederation gained their formal independence. The consequences and the impact. Approximately 40% of the population of the Holy Roman Empire died. The country, or these the territories were completely exhausted and devastated. The empire remained a confederation of de facto independent states and had no proper access to the sea. This was a precondition for its dissolution 150 years later, as well as this was also the precondition for the rise of Prussia to be a European great power. Also, the German colonial activities were delayed and the economic and industrial development in Germany was also delayed. The Holy Roman Empire was, as just stated, no nation-state and was no longer a major political factor in Europe. On the other side, France, England, Sweden and the Netherlands were strengthened as national states. Sweden was the strong power, the dominant power in the north, 
France, the dominant power in the West. And we can see with the Thirty Years' War the long-term establishment of Protestant and Catholic areas until this day. The denominations lost their importance for the future development of Europe. This was an overview of the Thirty Years' War in five.